Hello, um, this is the practitioner again. Um, let's see, this is my fourth debunk of your tricks in, uh, in less than probably two hours. I think I'm becoming the James Randi to your Yuri Geller. Anywho, all joking aside, um, I have some concerns about the fact that you've been claiming uh, apparent telekinetic capabilities on what appear, um, to at least to my um, critical eye, to be magic tricks. Um, I've already debunked the dice, the compass, the ring, and, well, now I'm going to go on with this one. Um, I know you said you replicated James Heydrich's effect here to avoid blowing. Well, the thing is that I actually noticed something else about the particular way that you started moving it. You started moving your hand from side to side, but you never actually moved your other hand underneath your first hand to make sure that there were no invisible threads nearby, i.e. something called loops. And the thing is that uh, I used to have a set of these before I broke them all, but um, if you actually take a look at the video um, of my stuff here called Me Moving a Fork, um, this is a perfect demonstration. What it is is that um, you are using, at least to my uh, suspicion, you have a slight invisible, th a loop of invisible thread wrapped around your hand, around your wrist more specifically, and down around s and the inside of the page of the book. And as you're moving your hand, the page of the book starts coming up, and, as you, and the reason why you've been stumbling a little bit is because it looks like the loop's going to fall off, so you're trying to regain it before you actually pull it backwards, you know, to make sure it doesn't fall off your wrist. Then when you get it controlled just right, then you flip it over to the far side. Again, um, it's, it's all about trying to get a, a degree of control, um, which means that if you're going to do it as a magic trick next time, I'd advise working just a little bit more practice on it. But like I said, um, I had the exact same problem beforehand about doing called the one called me moving a fork. Uh, I use the exact same technique. So here's what I recommend. Next time, when you're doing the, um, if you want to prove that you have telekinesis, i.e. if you're doing this uh, replication effect correctly, when you're moving the page back before moving your hand, wave your hand to show that there's nothing around it, but then wave your second hand underneath your first hand to show that there's no strings connected to this hand. Because like I said, you may be able to, even moving from side to side, you may be able to move your wrist inside the loop, thus making the illusion appear that there's no strings there. But if you don't move anything underneath your second hand to prove, you know, underneath your second hand to prove that this hand is not connected to anything, um, it's quite an easy fool. And um, like I said, um, I've been watching your videos now for some time. And uh, I've, like I said, I've taken a look at the comments and you have everybody, again, um, if my suspicions are correct, and this isn't genuine telekinesis, then you've got everybody hoodwinked, which means I've got to say you've got, you're actually pretty good for a magician. That you've actually you know you've actually managed to pull it off fairly well. Um, either that or just the bulk of the people watching you don't seem to be magicians. Uh, you seem to only have like one or two skeptical comments on every video on a couple of your videos. Um, so yeah, again, uh, please do it again, but this time waving your right hand underneath your left or under the hand which is supposed to wave and move the page. So this way we know that you're not having loops or invisible thread connected to it. Um, again, I'm not going to be one to suggest magnetic paper, as it's pretty obvious that you're not using magnets. We both see the back and the front of your hand this time. But like I said, again, wave under the hand here to prove that loops aren't being used. And... Um, yeah, uh, um, once you've followed the conditions based on every single one of the ones I've suggested, like, you know, just replicate your current videos but with the extra thing just to show um, that the other variables I've mentioned are taken into account, um, I'll believe you a telekinetic capability. Um, and these aren't impossible demands to meet. These are just simple, you know, little extra add-ons to your videos that would, that you know, little tweaks that would actually, that would, that would go a long way in, uh, in proving that you're not using trickery. Uh, and if not for me, then for other uh, possible skeptics uh, on YouTube. So this way I can refer to your videos to other people as uh, true proof of uh, telekinesis. And again, then I can provide accompanying um, again, your updated videos, of course. And then, of course, if people try to start critiquing it, I can then defend you. Um, but I can't defend you as being a legitimate telekinetic if I don't have proof myself. So, um, you know, which I can refer to. Because uh, considering if I've noticed these particular tactics, and that if I've noticed these particular possible flaws, then chances are someone else will. Then chances are someone else will as well. Um, so yeah, uh, do try to, um, or or if I'm completely off on these actually being variables, and there's another control in there that I missed, please do explain why. And um, uh, or, uh, if you can if you can give me logical proof or scientific evidence or something along those lines as to why those controls that I'm mentioning are not necessary. But please do by all means give me a video response or leave a comment on one of my videos down here as to why they're not necessary. But until then, um, I'm going to ask that you do um, put on these extra little tweaks to prove that you actually do have uh, the telekinetic capabilities that you claim. Um, 
Remember, extraordinary claims from demand extraordinary proof. I don't think you're entirely too extraordinary, which is why I'm only demanding slight add-ons. Other than that, toodles!